Shut up for a sec. I got an idea. Hear me out. Damn it. We got the Viper, what right? If, come, come with me on this. What if... Take the engine out of the Viper, put it on Dodge Ram. No, no, no. Single cab. No. Short bed. No. Two-wheel drive. No. Six speed. Is it hot in here? Traction control. What are you talking about? I got something you can track, Sean, but you can't control it. 8.3 liters. Yeah, the V10. This knife friggin' rules. Sustainability? <laughs> what are you talking about? I got something you can sustain, Sean. I'm borrowing this. I need to go get something out of your car. Where the hell did it go? CDs? They're gonna be around forever. Music quality kicks ass and they'll never degrade. No, they'll buy it. They'll buy every one. It's 2004 and Dodge set the world record for the fastest production pickup truck. 154.578 miles an hour by NASCAR driver Brendan Gaughan, and it still stands today. And you could win this Viper truck. Seriously. We're giving away a Ram SRT10. Buy a limited edition mug or a digital download at whynotyougear.com. Click the link in the description. It's right there. It's easy. Someone's going to win this whynotyougear.com. Click the link in the description, and you're going to get noticed. Not by everybody, because to commoners, this is just a dodge from the early 2000s. But to gearheads, this is the beginning of Dodge turning into the Coke and Red Bull company we love and worry about today. Because the SRT10 didn't need to be made, not financially anyway. Regular Ram trucks were selling well in the early 2000s, and so was the Viper sports car. Why combine the two? Why make a truck that makes 500 horsepower at 5,600 RPM, 525 pound-feet of torque at 4,200 RPM, none of which makes it to the road because there's no weight over the drive wheels because you can't easily load up the bed because there's a damn wing in the way. And you can't go off-road because it came with summer tires, and the front spoiler is too low to clear anything anyway. And you can't go very far because you'll empty the 26-gallon fuel tank in 288.6 miles. Why do you want a truck that can't truck? Because hell yeah! Make way for the Ram Superior! Ford F-250? What's up, bro? There is no one coming. I'm just gonna roll in the first gear. Oh, I'm just a short bed pickup. Nothing going on, nothing to see here. I'm just gonna roll into the power band. Here comes a... all these people. I'm not gonna. We're going right in the sixth. I made my point. I made my point. I'm in a death black truck and I'm faster than all of you silly tuners and Euro whips. I'm giving a re-election victory speech and pissing my pants at the same time. Viper truck. The official truck of stuffing socks in your underwear before giving your grandmother's eulogy. SRT-10. The official truck of busting on long final. SRT-10 Ram. Brought to you by cross-fading ketamine and bath salts. SRT-10. The official truck of blasting Andrew W.K. while ripping donuts outside of the Tuppahawken Hospice and Alzheimer's Care Facility. Viper Truck.
Brought to you by getting pussy on Remembrance Day, Viper Truck. Brought to you by getting anal in the USS Arizona Memorial, Viper Truck. It's so gross, it turns me straight. Comes with DVD navigation, and the only destination is your mom. Trucks have always carried with them a regional identity, whether it's deserved or not. See a pickup truck, and it's hard not to imagine a guy whose favorite movie is the first 20 minutes of Saving Private Ryan. Someone who doesn't like the idea of trucks going electric or hybrid any more than they want to confront the idea that Grandpa's old war buddy wasn't just an old war buddy. It's recreational victimhood, and it's a drug for people who equate change with oppression. We see it every day on these Pennsylvania streets, with their tar snakes, road apples, and countless ratted out cars eight months past inspection. But trucks are supposed to be sacred, untouched by technology that would make them less truck-like. Encased in amber, the American truck is a symbol of national virility, like King Arthur's Holy Grail. It's interwoven with the strength of the land. But this overlooks the reality that there have been entire generations of trucks that don't do truck things. Trucks that were never intended to do truck things. The Dodge Ram SRT-10 Viper is exactly one of those trucks. And it's better for that distance. In the absence of traditional truck signifiers, like towing capacity, it doesn't happen. Yeah, there's no hitch here. And all-terrain ruggedness, no, this doesn't go off-road. I feel like most truck guys will happily accept something that at least looks the part, because it denotes self-sufficiency and an industrious spirit. Dodge Ram SRT-10. For the man whose favorite road in New York City is the one that takes him out of New York City. This truck is like letting a 14-year-old boy design his own girlfriend. All boobs. Instant gratification and no real thought put into what it would mean to live with this long term. But by the same token, that's the appeal. Dodge Ram SRT-10 Viper. Sponsored by wearing board shorts to divorce court. There's no substance here because there was never intended to be. It's getting three meals a day, but they're all Kool-Aid, Bagel Bites, and Funyuns. Are you hungry? No, you just want mouth pleasure. Do you really need a truck? No, you just want the thrill of vicarious power. The Viper truck is for the man whose personality in life was fully formed at age nine, when he went to the county fair and saw Pontiacs getting eaten by a monster truck called Dirt Reynolds. It's undiluted excess, from an exhaust note like a Motorhead B-side to the speeds you can hit on the march to Redline. And its top speed record still stands today. The 11 fastest production trucks ever made are, in reverse order, the 2015 Ram 1500 RT Hemi, top speed of 106, the Toyota Tundra TRD Supercharged, 107, Ford SVT Raptor. Interesting, that truck only also goes 107 miles an hour. I'm sure it's limited in some capacity. Above that is the classic Dodge Little Red Express that hit 118.8 miles an hour. Above that, the Volkswagen Amarok of 120. The Mercedes-Benz X-Class of 127 miles an hour. Above that, the Toyota Tacoma X-Runner with an estimated 130 miles an hour. And tying with that, is the maybe-it'll-be-made Tesla Cybertruck that's also estimated at 130. The Ford F-150 Tremor also makes 130. And here we get to the top big two. In second place, Ford Lightning F-150 SVT of 149 miles an hour. And leading the pack and still the champion in 2022, from the early 2000s, the Dodge Ram SRT-10, 154.578 miles an hour. The starting MSRP in 2004 for one of these things was $45,850, which comes out to roughly $69,360 in 2022. Yet somehow, this truck is fetching nearly every damn dollar of that price today. A 2006 model with 1,400 miles went for $76,000 on Bring a Trailer, while another with just 245 miles fetched $68,200. The Viper truck perfectly embodies the carefree attitude of a ride operator walking around the state fair smelling like he just smoked a bowl because he just smoked a bowl. But vibes like these fetch a premium on the used car market because you can't get trucks like this anymore. 
they're never making something like this again. The irony is that the Viper truck has essentially been priced out of reach of everybody but those who treat cars like land. Investments for a future whose only certainty is an irreplaceable past. Not everything good has to be practical. Hell, practicality is just a defense mechanism against getting your heart broken. You avoid things that don't make sense because it's safe. But sooner or later, we all have to decide which side of a glory hole we want to be on. Are we active or passive? Does our enjoyment come from exercising control over a situation, or do we prefer simply to be taken on a thrill ride? The Viper truck allows you to have it both ways, to lean into its performance aspirations or simply embrace the cruise. By not being as labor-focused as a traditional pickup, it's a lot more fun, even if it's less practical. But hey, let yourself live a little. You're allowed. And when you're done throwing away all your precious 93 octane, the Viper truck shuts up, buzzing along in sixth gear, and it's pleasant, even quiet. You know, I, I saw that one video of, and it did very well, props to the person, I think it's well over a million views now, of a guy who made a very detailed explanation on putting an aftermarket exhaust on a third gen Viper. But one of the problems he had is that it just wasn't loud enough. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's not a V8. V8s sound like this. But V10s sound like this. Well, it has more cylinders, it should make more noise. Mm -mm. V10s are quiet, they're naturally quiet. V8s make that bowling balls in a dryer sound. But V10s sound like a shop vac full of thumbtacks. Those two extra pistons smooth out the fluid dynamics coming out of the exhaust. Lots of valves, lots of injectors, push rods, lots of ticking going on, sounds overlapping each other into a smooth set. I wonder if this is what those radial engine post-war civilian aircraft felt like. Just silky power delivery. No one piston is the star at any one time. And it works. And that's the point of the Ram SRT-10 Viper truck. This shouldn't be. But it is. This shouldn't work but it does, and it'll never be made again. 10,046 were ever made from 2004 to 2006. All these big macho trucks you see today, their spaced out wheels and their big Cummins turbos, even Dodge, imse Dodge themselves with the Ram TRX. Everybody's trying to get back to what this was. This is the greatest. Someday there will be a faster truck and it'll probably be electric, but none will be greater than this. Trucks don't look like this. A real truck is a Toyota Tundra, first gen. Looks like nothing, sounds like nothing, runs forever. One of the greatest trucks you can buy, but it doesn't get eyeballs and it's not a draw. A Toyota Tundra is Stipe Miocic, the champ, but no one outside of MMA nerds know who he is. Who does everybody know? Schwarzenegger in the 90s. That's what this is. Schwarzenegger in the 90s, lots of everything. <laughs> Muscles don't look like that. That's not what a man looks like. Stipe Miocic is what a man looks like. A real man who gets things done. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a Hollywood movie star. That's not what a man looks like. But he's still a man. He exists. He's real. And so is an SRT-10 Viper truck. This is not what a truck looks like. This is not what a truck does. But it exists. It's still real. And for one brief period, this was the king. And for that, we will remember this truck forever. And one of you is going to win this. One of you is going to have the fastest truck in the world. A truck that will never, ever be forgotten. An unbreachable summit that only fantastic technology can beat after 2022. And even when a truck surpasses the Viper truck, the SRT-10 Ram, in many minds, will still be the greatest. Why not you gear.com, buy a mug, digital download, and get entered to win the chance to go home with this.